Hello there and welcome to another video of automation. Since that the video I made, uh, making a sports car, well, has been liked by those who have seen it. So, yeah, I'm going to make yet another one. And if you guys still like the video and you want to see more, well, we are going to see more of them. Uh, more of them because, uh, yeah, it's all about you and what you guys want to see. Anyway, one of the petitions and one of the things that I was proposed uh, was to make a ridiculous Brabant. And um, basically that means that take a crappy, 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 very crappy car and make it as insanely stupid as I can. So for that purpose I have, yeah, I have actually already built a platform. So you can see it's a 9080 crappy looking car actually this is looking too good <laughs> now that i think of it hold on a second there's no need to have this yeah just a plain boring crappy car so let's try to make as insane of a car as we can with this so hold on a second i'm going to save it there you go and uh, well let's do new model with our crappy car and see what we can do with this well the first thing is that I chose a longitudinal um, engine and I'm going to go for a real well drive because it's 9080 this is a crappy car and we are trying to make it, it stupid not great <laughs> so I'm not going to care a lot about uh, how it handles or that kind of stuff I'm just trying to put as much <clears throat> horsepower as I can under this not that big bonnet and see what we can do so yeah let's choose an engine actually we are not going to choose one we are going to build one so <clears throat> the most stupidly ridiculous thing i can go with is going to be a v8 and uh, we are in let's say mm, yeah 19 1982 um as i said we are going to make it stupid so yeah <laughs> stupid means expensive b8 which is actually stupid enough with that car um let's see how big can we make this thing well this is actually very big <laughs> six liters yeah okay okay let's let's try to see if we can put Six liters. Um, IB steam and four jet, which is going to give me a lot of RPM. Si uh, 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 I don't think this is going to fit, but whatever, uh, because of course uh, now we have to put something on the top, and that's going to add a lot. So yeah, let's go for a dual overhead cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go for an overhead cam. Kind of solve this, solves it. Um, for valves, of course, aluminum. Oh no, no, no. Okay, time to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to reduce it to just six liters because I'm fearing we are going to meet more problems than this. So let's see, du dual overhead, does it fit? No. But uh, yes, an overhead cam does. Uh, I'm going to lower this. We will talk with this later. We don't have EVT because, of course, 1982. Yeah. Uh, we want something sporty, so yeah. 75 as default. We'll see later. Aspiration. I could try to. No. I'm not going to try because I can't. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, a turbo would be just too stupid. Um, well, the objective of this is making it stupid, but the problem is if I try to fit a turbo, you can see that no, this is not going to fit at all. Look at that. I will have to make it a lot smaller. And honestly, I think I can get more um, power out of a naturally spirited engine. Uh, injection, 
mechanical injection, which is expensive as heck, but for who the fuck cares? Um, third pro cylinder, can we? Can we? Yes, we can. No, 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 we can't. <laughs> uh, performance intake. Crap. I really wanted. Yeah, but this is way too big. So, yeah, it's going to be a single um, injector. Uh, performance, fuel type. We are going to go ridiculous, so super lighted. Yeah. Uh, fuel mixture for an injection. I could go maybe to 13. Of course, it's not going to save a lot of fuel, but who the hell cares? Uh, injection timing, I'm going to increase it. No, I'm going to leave it here because I don't. Well, no, I'm going to increase it a little bit. Let's put it at 80. RPM limit. Let's be really stupid. A V8 revving at 8000. Yeah, this is going to blow in my face, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, actually, I'm going to spread not a lot. Just three points of quality in each one of the categories. Exhaust. Long tubular, no, won't fit. Uh, tubular, yeah, will fit. A uh, single one, because we only have one in the car. Let's be generous here. No catalytic converter, a straight through and a single muffler, which is none. And let's add also a couple here. Okay, let's see if this blows in our face. Which probably will. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, this will be a torque curve. This can't be the power. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Yeah, oh, oh, ow. Yeah, that, that kind of didn't sound too well. The engine has failed due to valve float. Yeah, kind of. Well, anyway. I mean, the, the top power was here. And we are getting 435 horsepower. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we, we are not going to put a very advanced cam here. Actually, in, if anything, we are going to reduce the cam profile. And um, we don't really need that much. RPM maybe. Mm. Yeah, let's let's re let's. Re this is insane. Of course, this should happen. Was to be expected. Okay, let's see now. Uh, here you can see everything working. Alrighty. Bell float is occurring and reducing the engine MTBF. 54,000 kilometers is way too much for <laughs> for an engine like this. Who cares? Okay, we have a lot of uh, fuel octane to use. Hey, this is a hell of an engine. <laughs> Not going to to be. Um, Too humble here because it is. I mean, 435, and we are not pressing too much on the compression radio. Now we are, of course, but and it's also not that expensive if you think about it. Wow, 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 wow! This is wow. Alrighty. Sounds really good. Still, bad float is occurring. Actually, I might want to reduce the cam profile a little bit, maybe. Also, I'm going to do something else, which is to increase the displacement of this. I'm going to make it as big as I can. 
<laughs> wow <laughs> this is insane okay uh fuel system let's reduce the rpm because that bigger stroke is going to bite me in the ass if i don't um top end let's reduce the cam profile maybe for five points and couple on the Octane radio, um, compression, whoa, compression radio, wow, 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 where this, this already starts and begins, really nice, uh, the, this is way too stupid for a car like that, and you can see that even the vibration is, is making the the arrows go red i still can feel it but of course that's going to cause problems when it's fit once it's fitted but whatever um what else can i i still have a lot of place here to improve the initial timing maybe a little bit and see what does that leave us in or where Not a big gain, if any, to be honest. Well, for horsepower, not bad. Uh, who the cat cares? Um, one thing I don't remember is exactly how much did I put. Wow, wow. Okay, we are at five. Yeah, we could increase this a little bit. And that should give us a little, not much, but maybe a slight extra boost. Because the air will have less problems exceeding the, um, the engine. Yeah, we have increased the power. Seven point two liters. This is retarded. All right. Yes, we did increase by six horsepower. Um, I don't think advancing the initial timing is going to make us any good. Um, top horsepower is at six thousand. I want to keep it in here. I don't want to reduce the horsepower limit. Um, let's see now. Increasing the um, compression radio will, of course, mean more power. Not a lot, but it's always nice to fine tune the engine to get all you can from your fuel. Six extra horsepower. Really good. And we still have room to spare here. Yeah, we are going to get. Uh, 800 horsepower out of uh, out, out of this engine. And if you think about it, no ball, no variable ball timing. No, this is not a dual overhead cam. This is a single overhead cam. There you go, almost, almost there. Of course, we are starting to have some problems with the cooling here. But that we can solve, and I know how. Still room to improve. Maybe a couple more, maybe three. If we explode, if it explodes, who cares? Also, the, the torque is a little bit insane in this. Oh wow. In excess of 6,000, 600, yes, yeah, 6,000 would be a little bit too much. Yeah, we are just there. Okay, what else can we do to improve this? Uh, not a lot, I think. I think this is actually the best we are going to get. We could try increasing a little bit the fuel mixture, but honestly, mechanical injection doesn't allow for two rich mixtures. So I think uh, 13 to 1 is, is good enough. More than that, and you would get too much fuel, and you wouldn't be able to to burn it all. Um, <laughs> a turbo in this would be just insane, but it wouldn't fit, so I'm not going to even bother. 
Um, what else can we do? I think we are. Um, there's little else we can. We can try one more, but okay. Let's try this. Not a huge fan of increasing the camp profile, but if we don't, no, it's 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 knocking. It's knocking. I think it's knocking. Yeah, it's knocking. It's knocking. Yes, by a hair. So if we go to the fuel 16 and maybe reduce this. Perfect. Okay, that's that's the most stupid engine I have ever built. <laughs> Many, well, it's actually an excellent engine. No, I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but this is the most stupid engine I have built for a car like that. Let's put it this way. Um, 7.2 liters. Um, eight cylinders. Single overhead cam. Well, there's no way a 7.2 liters is going to be something else at 8 cylinders, of course, but I wonder we could go for a flat plane. <laughs> but no, no, I mean, why why bother? We have already done enough. Okay, uh, where, where, where are you? Where are you? 7.2 monster. Two's engine. And hold on, let me check this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's just there's no space for anything else. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, but before we do anything else, we have to actually do something else, which is come to Crappy, Rapid's platform, because we have to increase the Reels fixture increase it. Yeah, with that we should be able to cool down the the engine. Okay, save it. Go back. New model. Rear wheel drive to engine. To engine. Okay, if you have noticed, I haven't touched the fairings of the wheels. There's not going to be a lot of room here to put a big wheel. This is going to be a mad car. Okay, manual. <coughs> Double clutch, why not? <laughs> Six years. <laughs> 333 kilometers per hour top speed. Yeah, right. As if we are going to hit it in, in, in real life. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the bigger tires I can, but yeah, you, you can see they are not really big. Also, I can't put any bigger wheels here. Uh, let's try to put a semi slicks here because we are going to need them. Brakes, solid disc for piston. Yeah, we really want to be able to, to break in this thing. Uh, a little bit less. Suspension. <laughs> God, <laughs> what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> okay, a little bit of camber. Hell, hell, hell. Even more hell, 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 hell. Let's actually do the suspension a little bit less, less stiffer in the front than in the rear. Really tough suspension is going to need it. I mean, look at those wheels. If this wheel bumps a little bit up, it's going to go through the. <laughs> through the <laughs> okay, red height. Reduce it. Why not? We are high enough. I mean, total weight. I, I mean, this is a crappy car. Let's let's put maybe. Yeah. 
1000 cc is 100 more or less and let's put all our weight in the rear because our rear wheel drive we are going to need it aerodynamics cooling airflow reduce it there you go and uh, let's see the stupid results we get this is actually better than what i expected <laughs> much better hold on a second wow it doesn't actually spin the wheels that much that's surprising probably because we have put so heavy bias towards the rear so the wheels don't spin but this is actually surprising i didn't expect this good okay let's let's try to put more normal sports compound road yeah that that's more like it we lost a little bit here we lost a little bit here the corner is shit. <laughs> for a car like this 0 0.89 g's is crap roll angle is pretty good economy <laughs> what's economy i don't know what's economy power okay yeah looks fine looks fine I mean, in the year change, we are changing into 300 horsepower, almost. Of course, that's the double clutch, because otherwise it will go lower. Body bump, I don't understand what's that. So, yeah, all the weight is on the rear, which, of course, is making a worse um, braking, but who cares? Actually, braking is pretty good. Uh, body roll, a acceptable. I would say acceptable, not bad. Your weight, we are almost there. Hold on a second, let's remind tires, let's reduce. Now, if we reduce this, we are going to have extreme, yeah, extreme pressures here. This equalizes a little bit, and we have a slight, slight, slight tendency to oversteer. However, you will see that this is a little bit bigger because, of course, we have less. Um, less wheel to put the, the the power into the asphalt uh, so i think now i'm going to i'm going to keep the wheels as they were and return to yeah and um what else can we do um, maybe reduce a little bit the camber and see what do we achieve there Cornering goes to hell, and we don't have any other change. That's absolutely surprising. I was expecting a little less of uh, max roll, but yeah, seems that we hit a very good camber angle then. Let's increase it a little bit. And see what we get. Better cornering, max roll angle, a little bit more bigger, but not that big. The thing, of course, is that this car is going to be kind of uncomfortable to drive because it doesn't have a suspension, it has a rock. <laughs> I actually could toy a little bit to increase the cornering a little bit, but not so much because, honestly, simply simply said, these wheels are not going to hold. It's 6,600 ho horsepower. Um, I think this is... I'm surprised, to be honest. I, I wasn't expecting this. To, to be this decent, I guess, is first year, second year, third year. Yeah, for fourth year, is no longer spinning the wheels. Let's let's see what happens if we don't have put that big of a bias in the in the pad. Yeah, that's more like it. Look at that, two seconds. Yeah, that's the weight. That's the weight. We have put so big of a bias on the real rear axle that we have an amazing traction of course there's no reason why we can't do that so yeah let's put it again <laughs> there you go so yeah that's it that's our little powerful crappy car or trabant <laughs> take the crappy car and make it into an unexpected Really, if you see this car in the streets, you are not expecting 600 horsepower out of it, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you had fun. I'm going to change into Imperial units so you can see the stats 
of the car in Imperial units. Also, we will look at the engine in Imperial units. And well, uh, tell me whatever. If you want to see more videos of this, tell me what you want to see, and I will try to make it. As always, hope you had fun. Thank you very much for watching, and see you later.